Hey everyone, we are going to look at the parenting matrix here. And so just kind of place that there so you can um, see what we're going to go after. And so parents, um, I want to just talk through the different stages of parenting. And these next videos are before these videos. And so we're going to talk about zero to five in, in this video and just talk about what, what is the goal. I, I find a lot of parents in their direction don't know really what they're supposed to be going after. Um, there's no clarity. There's no vision. There's no like this is the goal for this section. This is what I'm trying to teach or this is what I'm trying to do with my child or and I find like the more like these tornado parenting and where it's just like spin around in circles and no foundation everything swirling around you and you're just trying to survive and I, I don't want to give you like 17 things to do on zero to five. <laughs> I really have one goal, and so that's what we're going to talk about, and then there's a gospel focus to it all, and then there's a personal prayer focus that you can have, and so trying to make it as simple as possible, but give some clarity to what we're going after. So the first section is zero to five, and so in this section, as a the job description for you as a parent is just to kind of help us, I'd say is the teacher. Um, a teacher teaches the kids what two plus two is and uh, they come into the classroom and, and they learn how to read. And so as a parent, I see you really as a teacher to that child zero to five. A lot of studies show that what they learn of the direction they start going to zero to five is really going to put them on a trajectory for the rest of their life. So these are crucial. And, and so what is maybe the number one, what is the most important thing that they can learn from zero to five? And here I'd say, if I can give you one thing, it is uh, obedience. That that child learns what it means to obey. It's going to set them up for so many other things going through life. Now you say, what is obedience? Well, you can define it any way you want. My parents defined it for us growing up was obedience is doing what I'm told to do, when I'm told to do it, with the right heart attitude. That that's what you're going after. You want your kid that when you ask him to do something or you tell him not to do this, that he does what he's told to do or, or she does what she's told to do when they're told to do it. It's not three hours later or it's not five minutes later. No, when you ask them to do something, they do it. And then with the right heart attitude, it's not throwing a temper tantrum. It's not yelling. It's not screaming. It's not saying no. That, that's, we, don't, we want that. We don't learn, want them to learn what it means to obey. And, and so, yes, there's understanding discipline and all that. We'll talk about that in some other videos. Or you can go on the um, parenting conference videos and watch those. And we'll do some short ones on obedience and, I mean, on discipline a little bit later um, down the road so you can watch for those. But obedience is crucial at this time. We live in a world that kind of says your child should kind of do what they want and be who they want. And they're just kind of expressing themselves in different ways. And, and, and yes, th that's important, but there are some ways that aren't right. And, and what you say as a parent should be done. And, and if they're not doing that by the time they're five, six years old, they haven't learned obedience, then listen, you're going to be in some, some tough parenting through those middle school and teenage years. And, and so it's important that they understand, they learn what it means to uh, obey. Now, there is a gospel focus that comes with this. You see, the gospel focus is sin, love, and redemption. You see, I, I want my child to understand that, yes, when I come to them and they do something they shouldn't, or they disobey, that, yes, there might be consequences because of their wrong, but it is out of love that I help them, that I steer them in the right direction, or I, the consequence can come out of love. And, and it is restoration and redemption of bringing them back into my arms and showing how much I love them, even though they did something that they shouldn't. That's a picture of the gospel. You say, Jeremiah. My four-year-old is never going to get that that's a picture of the gospel. That's true. But here's what you want. And here's what I've seen in my life and I hope happens in my kids. That when they then later on in life start to understand what Jesus Christ did for them. Understand that they are sinners. You see, if they're always, they were never told from zero to five that they did anything wrong. Then how when they see the gospel and they get to the gospel, they realize that they are sinners. That there is a need for a savior. And so when they see that, then they see Christ's love for them and how even though that they are enemies of God, that they have run from him and that he loved them so much that he sent his son and he wants to restore them back. They can in their mind go, oh, I get that because that's what my parents did for me when I was younger. I, I believe I understand the gospel better because of how my parents disciplined me and taught me obedience from zero to five. And, and I pray for my kids, understand the same. That they get that, they understand like, oh yeah, that makes sense. 
And, and so the gospel focus is that we're trying to get across is, yes, it's all through the book of Romans that we are sinners, that God loves us, and, and that there is redemption. And so that's what we're doing with our kids is we're teaching them obedience. That, yes, this is wrong. Don't do this. When I ask you to do this, you should do this. And, and yes, if you disobey, there's consequences. But there's always love and redemption and restoration that is there. Now, the personal prayer focus is perseverance. I'll tell you, it's going to be tough. Anybody who says that parenting zero to five is easy, um, <laughs> they're not right. It's hard because consistency is so important. And so the pro personal prayer focus is, God, give me perseverance through this. What we see in the book of Galatians chapter six, that, that it is continuing on to doing good, that we just continue as hard, do not grow weary in doing good. Continue to do it. And so if we have a direction, we have a focus, we have a goal for our kids, that yes, we're trying to help them understand what obedience is so that they know what they're told, when they're told to do something, that they do it. That this isn't out of, um, it's not out of hate. It's not because you're at this iron fist yelling at them. No, we're going to talk about how to do that and in other videos and talk about this loving discipline and what that means. And, and when they get that, I think they're going to get the gospel better when God starts to open their eyes and they really can start to read and, and see what Christ did for them. It's going to make it so much more clear, this picture for them. And, and so at that age, zero to five, which is a crazy age, kids are um, running around and trying to figure out life. And as a parent, sometimes like, what am I supposed to be doing? Just focus on that. Be a teacher. Help them understand what it means to obey. Help them get that. Help them see that this is what, when I ask you to do something, you should do it. When I say don't do it, you shouldn't do it. And, and yes, there are consequences that come. And we'll talk about how to have those loving consequences and what that means and how to be a parent that sh truly shows the gospel to your kids in this zero to five age. And, and I'll tell you, if your kid gets it, as they exit out from that zero to five age, you're going to have a different set of uh, middle school and, and high school years if they get what it means to obey. And so work on that and, and, and go after that and, and let's teach those kids how to obey. And, and we're going to look at some of the other ones. So if you like this video, subscribe below and we'll continue to pour out videos over the next weeks uh, of how we can help and that what's it mean to discipline lovingly, discipline at this age. We want to talk about all those things. Yes, you can go watch the conference videos also that are on this YouTube channel, but I, I hope that we can just take little bites at a time and, and realize, okay, here's a goal that I'm going after is I want my child to learn to obey as I'm picturing to them the gospel, what Christ did for me, and, and God give me perseverance as I continue through these years. So we'll see you back.